Okay, you got to check this out. Look at this little guy here. Look at the expression on his face, and he's holding his fit. Does that seem very attractive? Does, it, does that seem like it's going to be good? Now, let me show you. This is actually the logo they use. You see on the door over there? You see on this wall? They've got it over there. It's all over the place. I don't know, it just uh, seems a little odd to me. Okay, so we did a video on apps already, <clears throat> but I'm going to cover some things that for whatever reason I didn't cover before that are very important. This one right here, ECU 911. Hopefully you can see this without too much glare. This is an English speaking emergency, I will continue here, emergency service. If you sign up here and put all your information, then you can just hit this on, uh, on your cell phone and an English speaking person will come to your rescue. Uh, you should definitely have that because you never know in this world what might happen. All right, I mentioned Magic Bit Jack before. It's um, five or ten dollars a year and you get assigned a US number and you can talk to them on your cell phone um, without any kind of other charges. World Remit is a great way to cheaply send money uh, from the US to here. Cody TV. Cuenca Bus, I mentioned. Move It. Didn't tell you about that one. Don't know why. It's actually the one that I use. Move it is all over the place, but let's say, where do you want to go to? I am going to say Parque de la Madre. So I call it up from my current location, which is I'm home. Uh, you pre-program that and you can put actually a list of other places. Here it tells me that bus number two is going to be leaving from street near where I live and between these times or I could catch bus number seven leaves from this intersection or I can catch bus number five leaves from this intersection and this is the trip time how long it's going to take to get there on the bus you could put any place in there and it'll tell you the bus lines that you want to take so how handy is that? Now, I mentioned Easy Taxi, but I didn't mention I don't use Easy Taxi anymore. There's certain things about the software that are frustrating. I just got sick of it because we now have Azu Taxi, and Azu Taxi is freaking amazing. Now, all I have to do is click on where I'm at, or I just hit Taxi Request. Here you have to put something. So if you're downtown, you don't know where you are, it doesn't matter. The GPS will send a signal to the driver to show where to pick you up. But you put something like uh, the name of the building or the street number if you can find one or some sort of reference point. And if you're, you know, 20 feet away from a place that's got a reference point or a name then walk over there and wait for the taxi there <coughs> it will tell you how long it'll take for a taxi to come it'll show you where the taxi is located on a map and uh, so you can follow him on his trip to you it, you'll get a pop-up message um, where he says he's on his way and you can do a response there's three or four or five responses you can just click on one so you don't even have to type it works great I'm very very happy with it so 
I've got Pace or Pacer and it shows my steps yesterday it was 4,000 I burned 226 calories walking it was 1.8 mile personal records who cares um, I'll close that I've been home today and I've been walking around but I haven't even carried my phone I think the 27 steps was when I left my bedroom and come over to my office area uh, but this will keep track of your steps as long as you're carrying the phone it is really accurate I'm not sure the magic behind it but it works really well it operates in the background um, so just out of curiosity you might want to do it and of course we have Domino's and Domino's of Ecuador and it's just like in the US and it's not terrible food so if you're in a crunch you don't know what to do you can order up a sandwich or a pizza or the little chocolate volcano dessert and um, there you go now I told you about Megabyte before I'll tell you again it's an absolutely amazing app I love it um, it can get expensive so you want to be careful uh, because a lot of the restaurants here are just expensive restaurants but you have an endless list of places oh red crab one of my favorites but you're gonna drop a hundred bucks on a couple easily um, Montebianco I scream at your door um, five dollars a liter which is kind of typical let's see got seafood and crepes and Chinese and Mexican a lot of stuff that's just not very good now while I'm at it I'm gonna mention this little place here Melate it's right downtown uh, the owner the guy who works there his name is Rocco he's from Italy very nice person I don't know what music they're playing but I absolutely love the music there it's in Spanish or Italian it reminds me of some Argentinian uh, it reminds me of some Argentinian movie about the tango although the music isn't tango it's got this this um, a kind of a romance movie um, this smoldering kind of, I don't know what it is I can't describe it uh, obviously but I love the music it's very relaxing I ordered a mochaccino and it's the first mochaccino I've gotten in Cuenca and I drink them all the time that wasn't too sweet he just puts chocolate in it without putting sugar in it and if you want to add sugar you can so I drank it just the way it was I thoroughly enjoyed it loved it they've got snacky cakes and I see that they're also on <clears throat> megabyte yes you can get frozen coffee as well or coffee on ice and cheesecakes and brownies and etc so I had to take a minute I just love that place this is everything in the world then you go down here to mega market and I don't know if I mentioned this before but I can hit here the grocery store and I can hit here the grocery store <laughs> and here we go I can buy fruits and vegetables and meats and canned goods and paper products and it just goes on and on and on you just select it and about a half an hour later they deliver it to your door and it'll cost you about two bucks for delivery so if you're not using megabyte app um, well then you're not using it you're missing out is this the way you want to do shopping well no you don't want to you know just kind of bury yourself in the house however there are times when maybe you just didn't have the time maybe you're busy doing things maybe you don't feel good and you just don't want to go out I've used this whew, probably half a dozen times so I don't use it very often but it's it's awesome that it's there and hey sir world remit Cody 
So that's it for the apps today. And if I come up with any other juicy ones, I will let you know. If you know of any, uh, you want to share that information, please uh, pass it along. I don't want to bury myself in a million apps, but I use all of these at some point, except of course ECU 911. These are all downloadable uh, on your, your Google Play. So, ciao. You know you could.